There we go. Hey guys, what's up? Do you wanna see how I add brake fluid to a Piper J3 Cub? Well, if you do, I wanna show you exactly that. But first, coming up, I wanna show you a landing where my right wheel actually locked up shortly after touching down. Okay, so my left brake was a little spongy prior to taking off, and I was aware of it. But typically, I land on grass, and it's not really a problem. But landing on pavement, it's a whole new ball game. Okay, make sure you stick around to the end after I add the brake fluid. I'll explain a little more in detail a couple ways I could have still prevented this from happening. Okay, so what you're looking at here, this is the left brake operator, which is located under the front seat on the left side towards the front. So right here is a 916 plug that goes in the top. So I'm gonna remove that. I'm sure it's pretty snug here. Got a short stubby wrench. Let's use the um, closed in just to be safe actually since it's so tight and then I'm going to break that loose okay move the camera I think you can still see okay so we remo remove the plug here and I want to put it somewhere where it can stay clean and then I have the brake flood canister I'll bring in here and I'll show you how I fill it up. So, okay, so I got a, about a, I don't know, 10 inch tube here that I can pump the flood to. All right, I think you can still see it there. So I'm basically just going to pump this up. And two, here we go, it's starting to come out. Till I can just visually see it come to the top here. It doesn't take much. Okay, I can see it right now. I'm gonna pull the tube out of the way. It looks like I can still add a little more. probably fine but we'll make sure that it's topped off okay it's above the spring so it should be really close there we go so it's all the way to the top all right okay Okay, I actually put a little more than I wanted to in here, so just to make sure it doesn't come out, I like to have it kind of at the bottom of threads. So I'm actually gonna kind of wick a little bit out here with the paper towel, just to make sure that I actually don't spill it, push it out when I put the plug in, so. All right, so right now it's at the bottom of the threads. And that's where I like to have it. So let me grab the plug. OK, 
Okay, make sure it's clean, everything looks good. So I'm gonna try to move my hand here so you can see the plug. Just turn it nice and slow, make sure it goes very easily and nothing's crossed, no cross threads. Turns on nice. Okay. Okay, I snugged it. I'll just give it a hair more. Right there. Should be perfect. Now I'll test it out. That was great. Okay guys, to prevent this from happening, number one way is to simply add brake fluid. Anytime you, sus I guess, um, are suspicious that the brake might be a little spongy um, or you know it's spongy, just add brake fluid at that moment if you have the opportunity. But number two, another way to prevent it, if you're out and you're not at your home airport or there's no mechanic around, and you notice that it is a little off on one of your brake pedals, make sure that you remind yourself when you land that that is the situation and not to apply equal brake pressure to both brakes. And that will prevent you from going hard right or hard left. Just keep that in mind to just uh, make sure you give them what they need to actually keep you straight on touchdown. Okay guys, if you got some value or you like this video, make sure you click the like. YouTube actually shares this video more the more likes it gets. So I would appreciate that if you make sure you just click it. It only takes a second. Again, if you got value or you liked it, don't forget. And also, if you wanna see more videos just like this one, more is coming up actually each week. Make sure you subscribe if you have not. And uh, until next time, be safe and be blessed, and I will see you in the next one later.